Good evening and welcome to Hazen Union, home of the Wildcats Playdown Basketball tonight. Your Hazen Union Wildcat boys hosting the Stowe Raiders. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080 on the cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Shot taken, not made. Rebound. That's the Prez. Lincoln Mitchell trying to go back up. And I believe that was Lincoln that got that point. I got to find my programs here. I am all out of sync trying to get up here. I believe that was the Prez. I was looking for my stuff. I'm going to give it to the Prez. I know he's down there battling. Sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Art on camera. Stowe, wheeling around, trying to get a shot. Get you some updates and stats as soon as I get myself settled here a little bit. Pass goes over, out of bounds. They're going to turn it over. Uh, we played Stowe here at home back on uh, Tuesday, December 20th. Beat them 62-29. And I, that was the only game we did not go down to Stowe, I'm seeing here. Cats come in with a record of 16-3. Looking to punch their ticket. Well, if the, if the winner tonight plays the winner of the, uh, I know it's a BFA and uh, a school down that consolidated all of uh, South Royalton and Bethel and all them. I'll have to get that for you. White River Valley is the name of the school. That game will be played Friday at a site to be determined, determining winners. Pass across. Stowe taken away. The Prez looking to go coast to coast. Follow up. Baker gives it back to the Prez. Muscles inside. Throws it up. Still does go. Rebired up. Rebound. Shot and a foul. Tyler Rebard doing what he does best in there. Getting boards. Getting shots. Collecting fouls. Generational talent we are seeing in Tyler Rebard. Girls will be playing Thursday night down at the Odd. Tyler Short on that one. Thursday night down at the Odd in a semifinal against Thetford. Want to wish our ladies good luck down there. Play a good game, come away with a victory, and get to that final on Saturday. So, still trying to get something here. That one's going to go backcourt. Chase Brown couldn't quite connect up with that one. Turn the ball over. X on the inbounds. Hazen, wheels and deals, fiddles and diddles. Rivard. Gets it back. Baker over to the Prez cross court. X wants to drive inside. They're going to call a blocking foul. This referee, Scott Chandler, on Dylan Sauter. His first. 5 13 left to go here in the first. Hazen up by a score of 4 zip. Rivard. They're going to call a jump ball, and possession error will give the ball to the Raiders. Keenan McAlarney on the inbounds. Long pass up ahead, wide open under the hoop. Tyler gets in there. Messes with Dylan Sauter a little. Sauter's going to, Tyler's going to commit the foul. Sauter at the line. Sinks his first one. Gets the Raiders on the board. 5.03 left to go here in the first.
Second shot rattles home. Brendan Moody picks up the loose ball, tries a three, doesn't go, collected down by Jaden Baker. Baker's going to come back out with it, set things back up. Here's X, top of the key, over to Moody inside. Nice pass inside to the Prez, back out. Baker, the butcher, the baker, the three-point maker. Cats press, still breaks it. Kind of, kind of, no, create the turnover. Press creates the turnover. Here's Moody, wants to go up. Brown gets a hand on it. <clears throat> Out of bounds, Katz will retain the possession. Inbounds, Rivard. Easy hoop for the senior. Ball knocked out of bounds. Stowe will retain possession. Playoff action here from the den on a dark and stormy night. Art on camera. Rivard breaks that one up. <coughs> Behind the back pass. Over to Baker. Baker brings about Rebar. It's going to take a short shot. Rebound to Brown. Brown over on the far side. There's a long three-pointer taken by Isaiah Thomas. <coughs> Moody can't handle that one. Cats press once again. Baker creating havoc. Tie up. Possession here. I'll give the ball. I don't think they're calling a jump ball. I guess he stepped on the line. Says referee Don Taylor. Scott Chandler backing him up. Rebarred. Baker wide open inside the press. Looking around. Gets it back. Here's Baker. Doesn't go. Rebound. Lincoln Mitchell. Stowe knocks it off of the Hazen player. They'll get the possession. 332 left to go in the first. Cats up 9-2. Cats continue to press. Rebard right in front of that one. Rebound over. Rebard took out a bunch of chairs. He's okay. Heck of a bump, but he's tough. Like something out of Monday Night Raw down there for a minute. Here's Baker inside. Rebard, turn around, gets it over. X thinks about taking a three. Cross court, stealing that one. Got right in the lane to Keenan McAlarney. Here's Chase Brown. Chase Brown, a sophomore. McElarney, a sophomore. Three sophomores, two seniors starting. Rich Tierney wants to time out, talk things over. Uh, two seniors, three sophomores starting for the Stowe Raiders. Here tonight from the Den. So, yeah, the winner of this game <coughs> plays, if I can see it. <coughs> I could really use a drink, but I'm going to go get through this. Yeah, White River Valley Bellows Free Academy. The winner of that game takes on the winner of this game Friday night at 7. Brown. And they're going to call Moody on a foul. Raiders rebounds. Short shot. Goes number 15, TJ Guffey. Cats. Moving the ball around. Gabe Mitchell in now. Gabe the big blue ox.
And Baker has the presence to throw it off of Guffey as he's losing his balance over there on the sideline. Nice move by Baker to keep the possession going for the Cats. Over the head, is the X-Man going to chase it down? He's going to chase it down. X. Floats up, puts up the left-hand floater. Draws a foul. Going to send Xavier Hill, the junior, to the line. Sinks his first one. Cats are up by a score of 10-4 with 207 left to go here in the first. We've got Parker Guffey checking in and TJ Guffey coming out. TJ the senior, Parker the sophomore. Hill misses the second one. Rebound collected by Sauter. comes Rivard. X. Swings it over. Gabe cross court. Baker down to the press. And X-Man. Three pointer for Xavier Hill. Four points for the junior. 13-4 is your score. 135 left here in the first. And that pass goes through the hands of Parker Guffey. Turnover. Blocked out with authority by Maddox Gregory. Cats will line it up, try it again. 115 left to go in the first, leading by nine. Baker switches back. X fights his way inside. Double team, throws up a soft shot, doesn't go. Rebound, Rebard back up again. Tyler Rebard shot in the foul. Six points on the night so far for Tyler. Chance to make it seven. Makes a three-pointer the old-fashioned way. Make it seven points now. Adding on to his total. We saw him put up his thousandth point here a few games ago. Turnaround. Cross court. Brown. Double team. Catch is swarming out there. Sauter inside. Shot over, rebound, collected, X up ahead to Baker. Wanted to go to Rivard inside. Brown almost intercepted it. Rivard ended up getting it. Here's Gabe inside and gets called for the charge. As I believe it was Sauter head position. Cash once again, press. Down to 17 seconds, 15. Cash not letting them get any kind of type of quality and... Baker called for the block with 11.7 left to go in the first. Raiders inbounds. Sauter pops free in the middle, and they're going to call the press for the foul on that one. It's going to send Dylan Sauter to the line. Sank his last two. Dead eye from the foul line tonight is the senior, Dylan Sauter. A 
off on that one. Rebound. And they're going to call McAlarney on the push on that one with 8.1. Here's X. Moody over to X. X takes the three off. Rebound, rebound. He's going to have to get it up quick. Doesn't go. Not going to give him the shot. He's going to call it after the whistle, after the buzzer, whatever you want to say. 16-5 is your score after one. Your Hazen Union Wildcats leading the Stowe Raiders in this playdown game. Brendan Moody with three, Xavier Hill with four, Tyler Rivard with seven, and Lincoln Mitchell with two. Bit of a low-scoring first for the Cats. TJ Guffey with two, and Dylan Sauter with three for the Raiders. You're watching Wildcat Basketball on HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Art on camera, Lance Hall with the call. Nice crowd tonight, it being a dark and stormy night. How was your ride down from West Glover? A little dicey, yeah. It's getting a little sloppy. It was kind of raining sleeting when I came in. And uh, Line them up and... Uh, Get this game over with and send Stowe back on their way and we'll all get home and hopefully everybody gets back home safe and sound tonight. Cats come in on a, let's see, one, two, three, four, five game win streak. Looking to get back down to the odd and defend their title. Seated in at number two. Winooski, the number one, the team whom we defeated last year to win the championship in a rough, rough hockey, I mean basketball game. Shot short. Brown. Got up there and tipped that one in. Chase Brown, nice elevation on the jump. Cats, wheel and deal. X from inside. Six points for Xavier Hill. Scott Chandler. With a foul on Dylan Sauter, his third. With 7.07 left to go in the first half. And i got to believe Rich Tierney's going to get uh, Sauter out. Yeah, he's going to send in uh, Will Brockhausen. X short on that one. Rebound Brown. Brockhausen back to Brown. Nice pass inside. He was looking inside for Brockhausen, but the pass stolen away by the Cats. Moody. Brendan Moody, second three-pointer of the night. Makes it a 21-7 lead for the Hazen Union Wildcats. Brown on the far side, pass inside. Brockhausen tips it back. Wants to go up with it as Parker Guffey. Turn around, shot taken by Will. If I'm going to do this, my true oh, Tyler inside. Shot and the foul. As Tyler answers back after the hoop by Will Brockhausen. If I'm going to go truly Paul Heyman on that. Rivard completes a three-pointer. Ten points. 
for the senior. 24 to 9, your score. Six minutes left to go in the first half. Rivard got in the way of that pass. Brockhausen looking for Gregory. Guffey on the inside, on the inbounds, gets it back. Brockhausen over to Brown. Baker on him. Brown throws up a shot, doesn't go. Rebound. Couple guys going for it. Isaiah Thomas and X fighting for that one. X gets called on the foul, his first. In comes Ryan, the little lion, and the press back in. Tyler and Xavier Hill. Going to get a little bench time. Long shot by Brown. They give him a three. Chase Brown with a three. Five points for the sophomore. Makes it 24-12. Baker, the butcher, the baker, the three-point maker. And I think I gave Brennan, I think I should have gave, Brennan's only got one, Jaden's got two. I think I gave Brennan an extra three there in the first. Knocked away by Hazen, great defense. I think it was Baker, Brent, Jaden that had the three in the first quarter, not Brendan. Brendan's got one now, I think Baker's got two. This is why I say I keep it unofficially. Isaiah Thomas. Pass over. Gregory was looking down to Parker Guffey. Mass substitution coming in for the Raiders. We'll swap out three players here. Chase Brown, strong on that one. The Prez grabs it, gets it into Gabe. Gabe, the big blue ox, beautiful move over to Ryan, the little lion for the hoop. Gabe looked like he was going to plow everybody over at the last minute. Drops that little bounce pass over to Ryan, the little lion. Great play. The Prez doing what he does best out there working. And 23, 13, and 15. So that is Dylan Sauter, TJ Guffey, and Keenan McAlarney come in. Out comes uh, Will Brockhausen. Maddox, Gregory, and Parker Guffey. Parker Guffey. Thomas. Over to Brown. On the far side. Here we go. Across here. McAlarney. Back over to Thomas. Sauter. Playing with three fouls. Chase Brown goes around, loses his footing. Stowe's going to retain the possession. 4.06 left to go in the first half. Cats up 29-12. And we're going to ring up Ryan the Little Lion. And both teams now in the bonus. We'll be shooting one and ones. Short, short on that one. Knocked away <coughs> by McAlarney. Tyler comes back in. Ryan Morrison out. Brendan Moody pass over. Gabe Mitchell back over to Moody. Moody free for the three. Brendan Moody, now he's got two threes. The sophomore, six points. And a 32-12 lead, 20 points up, 20 points for your Hazen Union Wildcats. McAlarney here on the near side. Passes to Sauter, Sauter with Tyler on him. Inside, knocked away by Gabe Mitchin. He was looking inside, trying to get it to TJ Guffey. McElerney on the inbounds. Moody playing him. Gets it in. Thomas. 
Back over to Sauter. Trying to get it to Brown. Baker's not letting him get anything. Wide open for the three is Thomas, but that's short. Rebound, Jaden Baker. Three minutes left to go here in the first half. Pass inside. Nice move by Sauter to get the, deep, to get the uh, hand up there. Closed quick. Just like that, though, Gabe makes... Gets back there to make a great play. So we're seeing great defense on both ends here. Quick quickness. Foul called in the end on TJ Guffey, but great, great defense by both So and Hazen going back and forth there. And Tyler will be at the line shooting a one and one. Sinks the front end of it. Uh, other referee on the far side tonight is Glenn Chaffee. Rebard. Hitting free throws. And up with it, Gabe Mitchin. Tyler was looking for Baker. Pass up. Thomas taken away by Baker. A couple of defenders back. Baker's going to back away. Looks inside. Rebard up off the glass. Spins down. And catch press, breaking it up. Ball goes out of bounds. Parker Guffey checking back in, and Isaiah Thomas is going to get a breather for a moment. Brown underneath. Long pass up. Sauter. Taken away. Baker. Pass over. Moody. 205 left to go in the first half. Pass tipped by TJ Guffey. Moody drops it over. In and out. Revard there to collect it down. Tyler Revard. Having his way inside right now. 16 points for Tyler, unofficial. Knocked away by Baker. I've got Tyler at 16 unofficially right now with 134 left to go in the first half. He cats up by a score of 40 to 12. A little bit of a drought scoring for the Raiders, but the Cats have been playing lights out defense. Inside, Sauter goes up, shot, and the foul. That'll break a drought right there. Foul called on Brendan Moody, his second. 121 left to go here in the first half. Cats up 40 to 14. Moody comes out, X goes back in. Sauter misses that one. In for the rebound, the Prez. Lincoln Mitchett. Gabe inside, Rivard waits, turns around. He was a little bit far, but following him up, the Prez. One don't get you inside, the other one will. McAlarney over on the here, Guffey. Double dribble, says Scott Chandler. And McElair, uh, Guffey wants to come out. Will Brockhausen goes in. Oh. 
50, 45 seconds left to go here in the first half. It's been all cats all the way. Revard pitches back. X from the foul line. Short shot doesn't go. Revard out hustles to get the rebound. Cross court. Baker drives inside. Puts up a shot. Shot and the. No? Okay, basket's good for Jaden Baker. Tyler called on a foul with 30 seconds left. His second. So Ryan the Little Lion will check in. Jaden Baker now with uh, eight points. So far, Cats up 44 14. 27 seconds left. Glenn Chaffee blows his whistle, calls the foul on Jaden Baker, his second. And that's going to send Will Brockhausen to the line. Checking the foul situation here. Double bonus. Okay, scoreboard has been, that was the 10th team foul for Hazen, so that will put uh, double bonus time for Stowe. They'll get two shots. Brockhausen. The senior. Four points for Will Brockhausen. 20 seconds left to go here in a half. Cats up to a 44-16 lead. Playing for last shot. Moody takes it. Brendan Moody, he's a sophomore. Three threes, that's all he's done tonight is shoot threes. And they turn the ball over. Cats will get another shot at a shot here with 5.8 left. Mitch it on the inbounds. Cross court Gabe. Five seconds. Three. Moody going to pop another three just off the rim. So at the end of the first half, it is your Hazen Wildcats leading the Stowe Raiders in this playdown game here from the Den tonight by score 47-16. You're watching on HCTV, channel 1080, on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Lance on with the call, Art on camera. Sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. We'll be back in time for the start of the second half. All right, Wildcats come back out of the locker room, getting ready to start the second half here, up by a score of 47-16. Um, I'm trying to get to, let's see. All right, let me do this first. Uh, you're watching Hazen Wildcat Basketball here on HCTV Channel 1080. Streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnst.org. Lance Hall with the call. Art on camera. Uh, points, Brendan Moody with nine. Jaden Baker with eight. Xavier Hill with six. Tyler Revard with 16, I believe. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. All unofficial. Gabe Mitchell with two. Ryan Morrison with two. Lincoln Mitchell with four. Over on the other side for Stowe, you got TJ Guffey with two. Will Brockhausen with four. Dylan Sauter with five. And Chase Brown with five. Once again, uh, winner of this game goes on to play. This is a play down. Uh, quarterfinal is Friday night. The winner of this game faces the winner of the Bellows Free Academy White River Valley game. Winner of that game, of course, goes on next week to the semifinals at the Barry Odd. Chase Brown off on that shot where our own Lady Cats will be uh, Thursday night. 8.15 tip for when they will be taking on Thetford in the semifinal at the Barry Auditorium. Congrats to a fine season by both our JV and varsity girls team. Moody off on that one. JV went undefeated. Varsity only lost one game, that being their opening game up in Enosburg. Well, I think they're on a 20-game win streak right now. A lot of accolades coming in for many, many players. For the Mountain Division. Revard inside, shot and the foul. Could almost put that on a loop every time Tyler goes inside. Foul called on Dylan Sauter. That is his fourth.
Tyler completes a three-point play. And Maddox Gregory is going to come out in, going to go in, and uh, Sauter is going to come out. Cats continue to press. Nowhere to go with that one. Rivard loses the handle on it. A uh, little basketball trivia for you today. The first televised basketball game uh, in 1940. It was a college game. Pittsburgh beat Fordham 50 to 37. And it was also on this day as Brendan, you know, I'm going to save my next bit of trivia for the next break a little bit. No look pass over to Moody. Taken away by TJ Guffey. Baker looking inside for the Prez. Baker once again. Pass over. X. Down. Moody. Baker. Prez to Moody. Free for the three. Brendan Moody. Four three-pointers for the sophomore. 53-16. Cats continue to press. Isaiah Thomas throws that one up. Chase Brown collects it down, and they're going to call a foul on Jaden Baker. His third. Brown shuffles a pass down. There's Thomas on the near side, double team. Revard and X all over him. Tries to get it across to Gregory, but Lincoln Mitchell with the hand. Brown in and out. Rivard collects the rebound. Moody short on that one. Rebound, Rivard. Up, will it? No, he's going to pass it back out. Inside, Tyler. Dips it over, Jaden. Baker, the butcher, the baker. The three-point maker, that's three, three, three threes for the Baker tonight. Fifty-six, sixteen. Thomas takes one, doesn't go, rebound, rebound. Stowe retains possession. Parker Guffey comes in, Isaiah Thomas out. And coming in, Will Brockhausen. In and TJ Guffey out. 534 left to go in the third. Cats up 40, 56, 16. Baker, nothing but net for the butcher, the baker, the three-point maker. He says, Brendan can shoot four threes, I'll shoot four threes. Five minutes left to go in the third. Brown with Baker on him. Inside, trying to get it across to Guffey, but not nothing there. X faked the pass. You see him throw that pass out. He faked it, went up for the shot. <clears throat> Block, but caught by Stowe. I didn't see who put it down. I know Brockhausen went in. I think it could have been uh, Keenan McAlarney off the block. Tyler blocked it back, but unfortunately he blocked it back to a Stowe player. Stowe comes away with it with some points. Inbound Stowe underneath their own hoop. Over here on the near side, McElarney with Moody on him. X almost picked Brockhausen's pocket. 
Pass inside, knocked away by the Prez. Here's Rivard, backs it down. X off on that three. Three forty left to go in the third. Cats up fifty nine eighteen. Maddox Gregory wants to go inside to Brown. Brown comes back out, line it up, try it again. Brockhausen with X on him. Brown around, throws up the floater short. Rebound by the Prez. X looking up. Baker thought about taking the three again. Both him and Brendan have been incendiary from the three point stripe tonight. Baker wide open. Doesn't drop. Rebound. The Prez back up inside. Doesn't get a rebound. Three green jerseys around him, and Brown goes up. I think they're going to call him maybe for going over the back. Brown didn't want to give him the easy hoop. Foul called on Chase Brown. Going to send Rebar to the line with 2.42 left to go here in the third. I don't think I've seen Chase Brown come out. He's been out on the floor every minute that they played. Rebar gets the roll. 21 points for Tyler Rivard. Make it 22. Stowe. Looking to make something happen. Inside, nowhere to go. Back out, Brockhausen with X on him. Pass over. Momentarily open was Parker Guffey. It's a three-pointer off. Rivard with the rebound. X, pass inside the press, wide open. One dribble gets hacked. He'll go to the line. Foul called on Maddox Gregory. His first. Lincoln to the line. Sinks his first one. Gabe Mitchett in, Brendan Moody out. 2.07 left to go in the third. Cats up 62 18. It was on this day in 1981, Calvin Murphy set an NBA record of making 78 consecutive free throws. Lincoln makes two consecutive right there. I don't know how many games that how many games that was over the course of, but 78 consecutive. Pretty darn good. McElarney collects another hoop. Raiders have made it to 20 points. Inside, the Prez gets fouled. Foul called on Maddox Gregory is second. Mitchell at the line once again. The Prez. Showing how it's done, youngsters out there. Make your free throws. 65 20. 145 left to go in the third. Blocked out by Rivard, still retains. McElarney wants to go inside, dips it over. And that was Parker Guffey getting the baskets. Gabe throws one up, doesn't go. All kinds of green jerseys around him. Baker 
the butcher, the baker, the three-point maker. Five three-pointers for Jaden Baker in this game. 17 points overall and a 68-22 lead for your catch with 43 seconds left to go here in the third. Brockhausen. Inside, back out. Free shot. Parker Guffey, the sophomore with four points now. <clears throat> out of 10 seconds inside, Tyler. Nowhere to go, he's surrounded. Referee Don Taylor blows his whistle. Calls a foul on TJ Guffey, his second. Eight seconds, plenty of time. And they're gonna call Tyler on a push that time. That'll be his third. <clears throat> and now Stowe will have a chance to do something with eight seconds left to go in the third, trailing by a score of 68-24. Throws up a shot, doesn't go. <clears throat> Keenan McClarney throws up a shot there at the end to try and get something to go. And at the end of three, it is your Hazen Union Wildcats leading the Stowe Raiders by a score of 68 to 24. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Art on camera tonight. Our sponsors, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. So we'll play a few more minutes here and see what happens. And it's, and uh, like I said, try and get everybody home tonight. Roads are pretty bad out there. Wish, wish you safe travels home tonight, Art. You got a little bit further drive than I do. It's National Science Day. It's also National Chocolate Souffle Day. Uh, and I'll bet you you remember this, Art. On this day in 1983, the final episode of MASH aired. 106 million people watched that night. Set a record for a series finale. Uh, the show started September 17, 1972. Had 256 episodes. I remember watching it. <clears throat> I was one of those 106 million. Great show. I like the early MASHs with... Uh, <clears throat> Ryan, the little lion, fights inside, gets the hoop. I'm trying to think of it. It was McLean Stevenson and, uh, oh, the other guy who played Trapper John along with Hawkeye. Uh, that, those first few seasons were brilliant. Not, And I'm not knocking the other people who came along afterwards, but Will Brockhausen tries to fight his way inside. Sully LaFlemme with a three. He's a freshman. 73-24. Sully getting a little play in time tonight. As is Morgan Mitchell in there now. Justin Morgan had a horse. Moody. Sinking the threes. Five and a three. That's all he's done tonight is shoot threes. Five threes tonight. For Brendan Moody. It is 76-24. Gabe Mitchell. Four points. Gabe, the big blue ox, as the cats are just salting this one away. Morrison gets, tries to get that one up to Gabe. Here's Moody fighting his way through everybody. Pass inside. Can't complete it, though. Morgan was looking inside. And Sauter knocks it off of. Uh, Ryan the Little Lion. Yeah. 
Sutter. Brockhausen. Nothing there. Inside, blocked out, and wow. Little extracurricular going on there with Brockhausen and Ryan the Little Lion. Uh, Brockhausen kind of tried to make amends, but. <laughs> See what happens on this exchange. One raining down. Morrison up, draws a foul. And I believe that's going to foul Sauter out. And Dylan Sauter, a senior, fouls out with 5.27 left to go in the game. Cats up by a score of 78 to 24. Uh, Isaiah Thomas back in. Ryan, the little line. Morrison at the line. Short. Morrison misses on both his free throws. Up to get the rebound, though. I believe that was Maddox Gregory. Here we got TJ Guffey, Thomas, Gregory. Top of the key. Over to Parker Guffey. TJ Guffey. Guffey inside. Surrounded. Gregory had the shot. Didn't take it. Thomas will take it. Misses. And Moody. Going to come down with this one with uh, Guffey. And. T.J. Guffey called on the foul, his third with 4.44 left to go in the game. And the Cats up 78-24, and that is 18 fouls for Stowe. So we're still in one on ones. I think they got two more to give before we start shooting doubles. Moody at the line. One and one. Moody sinks his first free throw. First points he scored tonight that hasn't been a three. Looks good on his second free throw. And Moody's going to come out, and the Prez, Lincoln Mitchin, goes in with 4.44 left to go in the ballgame. Cats up 80-24. Maddox, Gregory up, and they're going to call, I think, Gabe on a foul. Says Glenn Chaffee. So he'll shoot two. With 4.35 left. Looks like currently right now, White River Valley is way up in their game. Uh, they're in the fourth, 56-34. Looking to go inside was Thomas. So judging by the score I'm seeing here in that lead, and I'm going to go with the lead that the Wildcats have, it looks like right now as it stands. We're definitely going to be playing here at home on Friday. Looks like a very good chance it's going to be against White River Valley. Mitchell with a carry. Oh, uh, going to call. All right, Donnie's going to ring him up for a travel. Looked like a carry, but either way, lost the handle, shuffled his feet, you name it. 420 left to go in your ballgame. Cats up 80 to 24.
Tip-off Friday night will be 7 p.m. here at the Den. I'll be here with you. Thomas goes inside. Runs into a couple of walls in there, courtesy of Gabe and Lincoln Mitchell. called on Morgan Mitchett. Foul fest right now to end this game with 352. Come on, boys, let's just get it. I want to go home. <laughs> right? We want to go home, Art. Not true free throws. Still will inbounds from under their own hoop. Inside, looking for Gregory. Three, three white jerseys right there surrounding him. Create the turnover. 351 left. Sully Laflemme gets it out. Morgan Mitchell cross inside, looking for Ryan the Little Lion. Bounces back out to Morgan Mitchell inside. The press. Gabe inside. Ryan the Little Lion. Six points for the junior. And Morgan Mitchell comes away with that one. Pass over Sully Laflemme. Sullivan. Five points for the freshman. Cats up 60. 310 left. Will Brockhausen. Just looking inside. Taken away. There's Laflemme again. Scott shot and the foul. Chance to make the three-pointer the old-fashioned way as the foul. It was called on Brockhausen. Chase Brown back in. Gets a he got a much needed rest, man. I, that kid worked all game long. Keenan McClarney and Sully. That was, yeah, that was a one shot foul. Referees are going to con converse here. I mean, Sully, I believe, made the shot, so. Although, all right, we got a violation, I guess. Thought I heard Scott Chandler say something about a violation. Sully will line it up, try it again. Makes it. Eight points for Sully Laflemme. 2.56 left. Chase Brown, short. Gregory with the rebound, back to Brown again. Isaiah Thomas, far side. Want to go inside to Gregory, nothing there. Gabe Mitchell comes up with it, up ahead to Sully. Sully LaFlemme putting on a show here tonight for the freshman. 10 points. Morgan Mitchell, uh, Gabe, Gabe Mitchell wants to go coast to coast, blocked down. Blocked down by Maddox Gregory with 2.05 left to go. Three pointer up over the top, that'll go out of bounds. So we'll have Wildcat ball with 1.59 left to go in your ball game. So once again, coat, it looks like. Uh, we're definitely playing here at the Den Friday night, 7 p.m. Looks like the strong possibility, according to the score I just got, is going to be White River Valley. See what happens. Sully takes a three, doesn't make it. Back out again. Over to Morgan Mitchett. 140 left. Inside, Ryan the Little Lion short. Gets it back up again. Puts it in. Ryan the Little Lion. 
eight points. And Coach Hill wants to just slow it down, just run it out. We get it back. 91-24 is your score. Isaiah Thomas. Oh, it looks like Stowe might run the clock out. Maddox Gregory. Thomas going to take a three. Makes a three off the glass. Isaiah Thomas, his first points for the sophomore. Makes it 91-27. We've got 57 seconds. I think Coach Hill's going to have him just uh, pass it around here, run some time, and this will be it for this play down game. Cats will be hosting Friday night, 7 p.m. here at the Den, the quarterfinal game. And yeah, we're just gonna pass it around. Running the clock. So the Cats continue their winning ways in their defense of their Division III championship. The reigning, defending, undisputed Division III champions of Vermont. Playdown game, winners, 91-27 here at the Den tonight over the Stowe Raiders. Going to play Friday night. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on the Cable Dale Streaming Worldwide and Archived at www.hctv.us. Art on camera tonight. Our sponsor, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.jumpstart your future. Safe travels to everyone on the roads out there. Be careful tonight and uh, till the Friday night. Live every moment, love every day. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.